Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the the EYN or everything you need, uh, which comes from El Sig Art out of Greece, Athens, if you want to be specific. Now uh, it's going to come in a box like this. Uh, we've got the the prism going on there as normal. You'll have an authenticity card here, and it'll come in a little box like this, wrapped in tissue paper. Now this is a borrow device, uh, so if you don't know what a borrow is, most of you will know what a billet box is, and inside a billet box we have, as always, a borrow tank, and inside there we'll have a bridge or a rebuildable or whatever. So this is a borrow mod, this is your borrow, and this is one as well. Now I'm going to get this out of the way at the start, since I do have a billet box here. Uh, now, this mod is, it's a small screen DNA 60 inside here. We have a Delrin body, you'll get it in white and black just now. And we have stainless steel top caps and bottom caps going on here as well. But it's the size. Now the size of this thing, it's 72.8 millimeters in height. And there you can see beside a DNA 60 Rev4 billet box. It's a lot smaller. It really is a lot smaller. Main reason being is that, um, yeah, your borrow tank is going in this way. Uh, it's not sitting flat like it does in the billet box. So yes, it's a lot, lot smaller, but it's got a little bit of girth going on there. In fairness, when I say it's small, it's actually probably the smallest DNA 60 device that I own. And, and I've got a few. It's it's really, really small. Uh, the weight for you, Michael, um, is, if I remember right, I, I weighed this out, I think it's about 113 grams. That's without a battery, 18650, or a tank inside it. So we've got our firing button up here, uh, which once again is going to be a stainless steel 316. You've got the Prism logo going on up here. And down here, we have our battery cap, and our up and down buttons. And there we go. Now, this with the white one, you will see, possibly see some shadows there because you can see just a shadow there because you're going to have the board in there, the electronics, and it will, yeah, underneath this light, you are going to see that. You won't obviously see that on the black version. Now, if I just stick my thumbnail in here and pull, uh, we'll take the door off and you can see that this is held on by magnets. Uh, magnet there, magnet up here, and we've got our little flush nut going on there. I'll unscrew that in a second. Main thing in here is that uh, our positive contact down the bottom is like a, a little bros, br bros, a brass adjuster there. You can actually adjust the height of that. You will have to get some kind of a uh, pointy tool or a screwdriver or something like that. And you can see that I can just grab it on the edge there and I can actually move that and I can raise and lower the height on this. To be honest, with uh, with nearly everything that I've used, uh, I keep it screwed right down and I've, I've not had any issues. But, you know, a lot of the time some people they end up having to crank down this to get a, a decent connection. Uh, well, you can just lift this up a little bit and job done. Uh, there are, I'm just pointing out here, there's a couple of, I don't know what this is material is in here. It feels like a hard mastic. Mastic? Is that the word I'm looking for? I think it is. Um, we've got one here and one at the back as well. I don't know if it's for, you know, something that's screwed in here and it's been sealed in there. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, it is sealed around there. Now, this doesn't come with any tanks at all. You have to use your own. But uh, I'm going to use this one here. And obviously, I'm just going to take that, slide it in. It will go in, there you go, boom, like that. Then take my my nut, and then I'm gonna screw that down. And then using my little doodah here, just tighten that down. There we go. Then I can grab my door and stick this back on here. And you can see that we've got air coming from here. Um, 
and we've also got air coming from here and depending on your tank you can see that I can actually see a slit here as well. Now the one thing to point out here is that um, I can actually fill this, my device, um, through here that will pull my and I can fill from the front. When I'm using a regular borrow tank, you know, where it slides down at the front, I can actually slide it down. I've got enough access through here to push down and to fill it without taking my borrow tank out the side. So that's a bit of a thumbs up there. There is a little part of me that wishes the window was just a tiny little bit bigger. Uh, but it's, yeah, there's also part of me that likes it as it is because I don't like an overly exposed tank. Going down the bottom, we'll chuck a battery in here. Uh, we've got our standard battery cap going on here. Uh, I do like the fact that he's actually bothered to put negative on there, which I wish more people would do. We've got another brass contact up the top there, so pop my battery. And she goes. I have no issues with the. Uh, sorry, I've lost the battery cap. I have no issue with the uh, thick wraps or anything like that. And there aren't lots and lots of turns to get this battery cap on there. And I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. El Cigart. And excuse the refresh rate there. And ready to go. There we go. It's firing away. So I can just grab any old drip tip. This is my one of my favourite ones. And there we go. So this is, once again, a small screen DNA60. There is no USB port. No USB port on this device, so you can't get in there and muck about with it if you wanted to. Um, the one thing I will say is, for me, um, you know, when I look at this, um, you can see you've got your buttons there. They're dead easy to, to press. You know, the one that's up the top, I always consider this the up but it's not, it's the down. I see this in a lot of mods, actually. Um, maybe I've got it the wrong way around. Uh, what do you think in the comments? Um, this should be up and this should be down, but it's the wrong way around, in my opinion. Uh, on here, everything is... I have no complaints. The only thing I do have a bit of a complaint about is that the. if you look, the, the button is kind of off a little bit. Um, it, it's not so much that the button is squint or the screen squint or anything, it's the top edge, it's not a perfect rectangle, so it looks a little bit wonky. Now, I will say at this point, everything you see here, I mean, there's the 3D printed carrier that's inside here that holds the board, all the wiring and everything, everything is done in-house. It, every single bit of it's done in-house. Apart from the board, everything you see is actually manufactured in-house as well. So, yeah, there we go. I mean, that's the EYN by Elsig Art. Price-wise, I should say, it works at about €380. Euros. Uh, I'm pretty sure he said that he's going to be doing a slightly cheaper version down the line where he uses aluminium here instead of using stainless steel 316, so that'll work out cheaper. And as usual with El Cigart, um, you know, you're probably going to end up with engraved bodies and, you know, all that kind of stuff that he normally does with his gear. So that will probably come down the line. But you can get this through the Facebook groups just now. I think there's a list going uh, and I'm pretty sure that there are stores that are carrying this as well. If you go and have a Google, you'll find it. You should be able to buy one direct from a shop. Now, as you know, there are lots and lots of borrowed devices and borrowed tanks and uh, the market's just going crazy just now. Uh, for me, this is the, sh the shortest I've ever come across and that applies for any DNA 60 mod, for me actually. Uh, I've got quite a few here and, and this is this is tiny, this really is small. Um, I mean, just the, I mean, here's just a regular 18650 mod, and 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 look at the size of it. it. It's just, yeah, he's done really well in getting the mod that small. Uh, as far as the firing button goes, it's a, it's it's a soft click off of it. Uh, now it is flush, and it it's not recessed, but it's it's flush there. And with my right hand, I can even though it's. You know, it is kind of wide there. I can get a good grasp on it and just see. I can just fire it away quite a thing like that. The fleshy part of my thumb, or just grab the top bit of my thumb there and just pop it in. I 
I've actually changed it out now. I've got um, armor mods rebuildable in there and one of their bunker tanks and one of the armor mods integrated drip tips as well and no problems and I can slide down the front of that borrow tank or bunker tank there and fill it directly from the front. Airflow, no problem with the airflow getting in there, no problem with air getting in there at all, uh, get all the air that I want. Um, I can't fire this in, this is strange, I do, I do actually find for me, uh, I almost find this more comfortable in my left hand because obviously this all depends on the size of your hand and what you find comfortable when you're vaping. I can only share my experience and so I find this, the button being on this side Obviously, I, I would love it if it was up here on this, because then my my thumb just it would just catch it perfectly. So I do find that I'm I'm having to do this, and it's not always the most comfortable. But when I hold it in my left hand, the button is right at the end of where my thumb is, so it works for me. It works fine in both hands. Don't get me wrong, but I just have to mention these things. Uh, but once again. It's, I have to come up with cons here. I have to come up with cons. Right, we'll start with cons. And this is a bit of a shame. Um, I, and I, uh, I'll, I'll come straight out and say, th this was kind of rushed for me. Uh, I was offered, uh, did I want a black version or a white version for review? And um, I, I said, could I please have the white one? Because it was, you know, everybody had, had the black one at that point and there wasn't many white ones out. So he kind of, I'm not, he kind of rushed getting this one out to me so I could get a review done. Um, and there was just a couple little bits on the QC front that, um, yeah, you could tell that it maybe been rushed a little bit. Uh, but, you know, the button not being perfect rectangle, so it kind of looks off a little bit, even though it isn't. And uh, that's that's a bit of a disappointment. Um, there was a, a rough edge on the bit of the Delrin, uh, which I sorted myself in like 10 seconds just by taking a sharp edge to it. And there's a, a little nick in the, the flush nut up the top on one of the threads. Simple little things um, that I would hope that you as a paying customer would not see. Uh, because if I had been a paying customer, these would be things that would niggle me and I wouldn't be too happy about that. I have to say these things because that's how the mod arrived with me. I have to be honest. Um, outside that, I've had the, the bottom off and I've had a look in at the 3D printed carrier for the board and the, the soldering in there and the wires, no issues whatsoever. I have nothing to report there. I like the fact that he has the adjustable positive post as well as i said even with it screwed down right down everything i've tried all the bridges and everything fit in it fine i've no issues in that front at all um but if you do have a bridge or a tank that you don't want to crank down too hard on the top you could just lift the post at the bottom up a little bit and that is a very good thing for those of you that have ever destroyed the positive contact in a billet box you'll know about that Um, like I said, airflow is great, uh, drip tips, use your own. Obviously it's billet box threading up at the top there. I have no issues with the battery cap, it works fine. The buttons in the bottom, they work fine. It is um, it is curved at the back, the, you know the back end here is curved. So it's not like it, and even with the, the stainless steel as well, it's kind of, you know, flushed off there so nothing is necessarily jagging into your hand it's not an uncomfortable mod it's so small and um and it's very yeah it's not half bad this not half bad it's 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 different as well uh there's so many bottom mods in the go just now and a, a lot of them are looking the same uh but this one for me is just come out the left field and yeah 
It's good. And as always, I mean, I think I said in the close-ups, you know, he always does, you know, he'll come out with different engravings and so on. And everything's done in-house. Um, it, it's, it's a nifty little mod. I'd be curious to see how cheap you can get it with the aluminium top and bottom as well. See how it goes. And I will point out that these are done in small batches. Uh, I mean, this is... It's, it's, a, it's his own shop, as in his own workshop. It's all his own machines and whatnot. He's doing this. This is not mass produced or anything like that. And it's all done in Athens and Greece. So that's it. That's everything I've got for you. Uh, go and check out the Facebook group because there are other people that have got this. There's quite a few other people. See what they're saying. Other people are going to have different pros and cons. Um, never just take my word for anything. But thank you to you as always for watching and until next time bye for now